Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland from graphicemotion.com. In this video I want to present you my latest premium tutorial series on Patreon. This time I'm going to cover audio reactive music visualization in Houdini. This is a project-based tutorial series where we will create a project from start to finish. And before I get into the details what I will cover, let's take a look at the final result together. As you see, there's really a lot going on in this project, and you're going to learn every part of this complex setup. But the most important aspect here is that there are no keyframes involved. Everything that you see that is moving was made with audio reaction. Let's take a closer look what you're going to learn when you join this course. First of all, we will create a workspace, set up a project structure, and begin to add some basic elements to our scene. Now it's time to explore the basics of audio reaction in channel operators and so-called jobs. We will learn how to use audio waveforms to animate objects in Houdini. I will provide a basic introduction to so-called trigger-based workflows, where we will use audio data to trigger specific events in Houdini. In the following parts, we will set up multiple audio reactions to different frequencies of our music file. And we use them to control parameters like displacement, particle emission, and object instancing. As a break from audio reaction, we will then create a procedural neon light system with dynamic cables. We will use Vellum simulations to make these cables react naturally. After this detour, you will learn how to add audio reactions to camera movements, camera shake, object rotations, and also to light emission. Once that is completed, we will move on to Solaris, where we'll take a look at lighting. We will create volumetric lights using light filters and the new Karma Fog Box. Then we will create some shaders and materials using the newest tools available in Solaris in Houdini 20. Finally, I will show you a very basic post-production in After Effects, and then you're ready to render out your finished project. And at this point, it's time to relax and be proud of what you have achieved. One more thing before you jump right into the course, I recommend having access to Houdini 20 or later versions to fully follow along with this course. While the audio reaction techniques will work in older versions of Houdini as well, we will use some features that are exclusive to Houdini 20 and above when we work in Solaris. The whole course is divided into 19 parts and features about 7 hours of recorded video tutorials. You will also have access to all the project files and assets that are required for the course. If you want to have a free sample lesson, there is one available on Patreon, a link is in the video description. And now I want to invite you to jump over to Patreon, join this course and start learning. Thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you soon, goodbye.